believe it or not, I watched this movie as part of a final research paper assignment on sibling relationships. And originally I was going to do 2014's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But then I was like, you know, maybe I should take it a little bit more seriously considering the fact that this is a final research essay that's going to account for 300 points of my final grade. Hello YouTube, Joe Kiger here, and today I want to talk about Greta Gerwig's Little Women from 2019. Although it's true I did watch this technically for a school assignment, and my viewing experience was a little bit different than other movies because I was looking for specific parts where research was represented in the film, I still managed to have a great time with this movie and think it's a perfect holiday film and highly recommend it. Little Women is a really touching story about four sisters going through different phases of life either together or separately on their own. Their relationships are very sweet and wholesome and Greta Gerwig does a fantastic job of depicting the ups and downs that are often present in sibling relationships. The biggest reason the movie resonated with me so strongly is the portrayal of the March sisters and the dynamics that play between them, the closeness they have, and the bonding that they have throughout the movie. Because I have three brothers of my own that I'm very close with and I could see our relationships in their relationships, how close they were, some of the struggles they had with each other, and especially right now in, in my current stage of life and my brother's stage of life, we're in that phase where we're kind of becoming independent adults, growing up, going our separate ways in a sense. And so I saw that so much in the movie and they did such a good job encapsulating what it feels like for siblings to go through that, to grow up together, to love each other, but then also kind of do their own thing and go different ways. And I really appreciated how they handled it. The sisters are handled with so much care throughout the movie and you really feel the warmth that exudes from their relationships and the love that they share. And that's part of the reason I think this is such a good Christmas movie. In addition to the fact that multiple scenes take place on Christmas day, there's just a lot of warmth and warm moments that make you feel good. There's a lot of good sisterhood moments, obviously, but there's also a lot of emotional reunions and good exchanges between not just the sisters, but also characters like Mr. Lawrence, their mother, and even Lori. And Lori had a very interesting role in this that I actually want to get into a little bit. So spoiler alert, Lori ends up with Amy in the movie. And this made me upset. <laughs> I wanted him to end up with Joe because they built that relationship throughout the movie and she was finally ready to open back up to him and be open to a relationship and even a marriage with him. But then Amy gets engaged to Lori and it broke my heart for Joe. And I think that shows an achievement on Saoirse Ronan and Greta Gerwig's behalf because obviously Joe is the main character in the story. But the fact that I felt so much for her throughout the movie shows how well they crafted her character and how much I empathized with her every emotion, whether it was elation or sorrow. They just really handled her character so well. On the topic of sorrow, while I would describe this movie as a feel-good movie because it's very uplifting and wholesome, it does not shy away from those sad, painful moments that characters endure just like we endure in life. I really appreciate the fact that it encapsulates life in all of its aspects, whether it's good or bad. You know, painful, sad, or happy and joyful. And I think that's another characteristic of the Christmas season because we often feel bittersweet during Christmas. We experience very high highs. We're happy to be with family, be on a break, and just enjoy life together. But we also get reminded of things. And there's always, for me, a sense of just bittersweetness. And I think the movie did a really good job of portraying that too, which is another reason I think it's such a good Christmas movie. With the film being so realistic in its depiction of life, it kind of subverts your expectations of what you think will happen in the movie. So with Joe, as previously mentioned, who is our main character, the boy she wants to be with ends up marrying her sister, which is kind of hard to watch. It's not something you're used to seeing as far as what happens with a protagonist. And we also don't necessarily get a happy ending with Joe. We do see a scene where the sisters reunite and the family's back together for their mother's birthday. But at the end, she gets her book published. And some people might consider this her happy ending. She finally fulfills her dream of having a novel published, I guess, as she's holding it. But it's not necessarily happy in my eyes because the final shot of her looking through that window kind of lingers. And you kind of see an ambiguous look on her face. She smiles, but almost appears to be holding back tears. And then 
in the midst of that, you see the flashback of the sisters as children, which broke my heart in the best way possible. But yeah, we, we see Jo kind of unsure about how she feels about things. We don't necessarily get the happy ending we expect, and I actually think the film is even better because of that. That ending of Jo experiencing those mixed emotions as she's holding her novel for the first time exemplifies how well the movie balances feelings of joy and sadness at the same time. And again, I think that's so characteristic of the Christmas season, which is another reason I loved it so much because I watched it again just like a week ago. December is starting and so I'm kind of in the Christmas spirit. And so feeling all that and seeing all that depicted, the bittersweetness was just so perfect. So if you want to watch a movie that encapsulates the different feelings we experience at Christmas time, I think Little Women is a perfect movie for you to watch. But regardless of what season you're in or what stage of life you're in, I just think it's a perfect movie that talks about life in general, and I guarantee something will resonate with you in the film. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I want to know if you've seen Little Women 2019, directed by Greta Gerwig. Did you like it? Did you dislike it? What did you think about the movie? Do you disagree or agree with my opinions? Let me know in the comments below, and also make some suggestions for future videos, and I'll see you in the next one.